meant. A word about the book. Seems a little retro to give a dictionary, which is probably partly code for old-fashioned. I actually talk to some of my students and they say, no, actually, having a dictionary on hand is kind of helpful. And to go back to the word uh, philosophia, which is part of the Phi Beta Kappa motto, uh, means love of learning or love of wisdom. And the chapter is committed to saying that the love of learning and the love of wisdom never go out of style, nor do they need to be recharged. <laughs> it is my pleasure to present the 2022 Phi Beta Kappa Book Award at Delone Catholic High School to Maggie Hughes. Our next award is the Hanover Rotary Award. Our presenter is Mr. Ralph Jodice. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations to the new, soon to be graduating seniors. Very well done. I'm Ralph Jodice from the Hanover Club of uh, Rotary Club of Hanover. The Rotary Club of Hanover is an all-volunteer service organization whose motto is service above self. Our club is one of over 32,000 Rotary Clubs worldwide on, five, on six different continents, with over 1.2 million Rotarians being connected around the globe in service. Our club's scholarship committee chose one well-deserving student from each of the four local area high schools. Dalton Catholic, Hanover, Southwestern, and Spring Grove. As a member of our club's scholarship committee, it is my honor and privilege to present a $1,250 scholarship to the school of choice of the recipient. The Dalton Catholic recipient of the Rotary Club of Hanover's scholarship is Lucy Matson. Our next award is the Christine Boyer Memorial Scholarship. Our presenters are Ms. Andy Beth Boyer and Ms. Lisa Kaiser. graduated from Delone Catholic in 1973. She continued her education with a double major of early childhood and elementary education, graduating magna cum laude from Millersville State College in 1977. She married Jane Boyer and had three beautiful children, Josh, Nick, and Amy Beth, all St. Joseph's and Delone graduates. She passed from cancer much too early in 2009 at the age of 53. This scholarship, presented annually, is only one of her many legacies. She lovingly gave of her time and talents to the three most important things in her life, family, faith, and teaching. Teaching was her calling, as was evident early in life. She taught kindergarten for several years at St. Vincent's and 23 years as a kindergarten teacher at St. Joseph's in Hanover. She simply loved children, as evidenced by her dedication to making learning fun. Many children will remember her calm demeanor, her hugs, the letter lamb characters, and the large refrigerator boxes that transformed into the Mayflower at Thanksgiving, the post office at Valentine's Day, Santa's house at Christmas, and the letter land airport ticket booth. This scholarship is presented to a Delone student, 
each year who has committed to continued study in the field of early childhood or elementary education. It is hoped this individual will strive to achieve not only a degree, but have a sincere passion for sharing the love of learning, the love for family, faith, and teaching. This scholarship, historically $500, has been increased to $1,000 this year. I am pleased to announce, in conjunction with Jay, Boyer, Josh, Nick, and Amy Beth, the recipient of the 2022 Christine Louise Boyer Memorial Scholarship is Katherine Elizabeth Gilmart. It was always the refs. 
When, um, a few years before my dad died, I went to him in the nursing home and I said, you know, Dad, I really know how dedicated you are to Delenn. And I hope to keep that memory alive for quite a while. So I told him about um, starting this scholarship. And in fact, after my dad passed, this was one of the first calls I made to get this in motion. The criteria for this is a um, athlete, doesn't matter, male, female, and it has to be for a service-oriented um, position. And, sorry, <laughs> thinking about my dad. Um, because my dad, even though, again, he didn't get to go to college, he worked hard, he gave of himself and gave to so many people. And I'm sure he's smiling this morning at all of you and wishing you a bright, bright future. So my family is proud to award this scholarship in memory of my dad to Dylan M. Stoll. Oh, man. 
and my husband and I, um, Mike, my husband, established this scholarship after learning through our profession and through our commitment to the community the value of, of investing in you, um, those who will be our future leaders. There's an anonymous quote that reads, if serving is below you, leadership is beyond you. Remember that. If service is below you, leadership is beyond you. If you become a parent in the future, build service into what you teach your children. If you become a business professional, build service into your business plan. If you are a living, breathing human, build service into your character. We felt that this student grasped the true concept of this scholarship, community service, and its importance to others and to herself. We look forward to seeing how she can lead others in the future. She writes, a commitment to the serving of others who may not have all of the advantages and privileges that society has to offer can help build a strong foundation of character and serve as an additional moral compass for the person who volunteers because they feel it is simply the right thing to do. It is a giving of oneself in order to help someone else reach their potential. On a side note, DeLone students, we were very, very impressed with your essays, um, with the DeLone applicants. Kudos to understanding what service to somebody else really truly means. So, after a great deal of consideration and going through the applications numerous times, we are extremely pleased to announce Olivia Snyder as the recipients of this year's Congratulations, Maggie.
morning to the Squire country. This is a great venue to be at. Uh, it's the first time I've actually had an opportunity to come back and present uh, the JT Flaherty Award. Uh, and uh, I'm really proud to do that. Let me just say congratulations to the 2022 class and the parents and also the award recipients. The squires in this gymnasium now, all right, that come after 2022, yeah, you have a lot of things to carry through to the school. Be proud to be a squire. I can still remember the, uh, the fight song. I like to say I, I go through my head every night before I go to bed, but I'd be fit to you, so it doesn't. But, Everything that I've done throughout my life and career has always come back to the Lone Catholic High School. And believe me when I say this, the foundation that is presented to you and given you the opportunity to build upon, okay, is incredible. Incredible. Because you're going to experience things in college, the 2022 class this year, the other classes to follow, that you're going to stop look and listen on the experiences that you had at the moment. Listen to your teachers. They do a great job. Okay? Now, all I can tell you is, from experience, I was able to do that. And again, you know, many, many years ago, I'm not going to go back how many years it's been, but many, many years ago, when I had the opportunity to come to Deloitte Catholic, I didn't have an option. Okay? Our family moved and my dad took this job at the loan, and I'm so happy they did. As a youngster, okay, be your grandparents today, who I know, who I experience a lot of the things I'm speaking of, all right, or there's uh, the classes or on the field. But I can remember back, you know, when my dad was a coach, and just being on the field with him, and all the three sports that he, that he was able to, to coach. But it is something to, uh, to share with you as a graduate. I know that you're sitting there and saying, what's this guy talking about? Well, when somebody that's a graduate of Cologne Catholic is, you're going to be in a couple days, I think, or tomorrow. Okay, congratulations on that. You're going you're gonna, to, like when you're in college or whatever you decide to do, all right, you're going to have a reflection of what I'm talking about. And again, congratulations. I'd like to... Uh, let me put my glasses on. One time I didn't, I didn't have these glasses. But the J.T. Flaherty Award was started 43 years by my father's friends at Delone Catholic and the Delone Athletic Association. J.T. Flaherty was a teacher, coach, and administrator at Delone Catholic High School for 21 years and the father of nine Delone students. Several that went on to teach and coach. It was a great pride in our father's name when recognized not only the excellence of one scholar athlete, but the excellence of the one's academic, athletic, and spiritual programs. This school has provided a strong foundation for young people for many decades, and the Flaherty family is grateful to be a small part of that effort. The DeLone, excuse me, JT Flaherty scholar athlete is a female or male with good academic standing and an excellent disciplinary record who who has lettered in at least one sport. Each head coach may not nominate one student and all head coaches vote on the nominees. The award criteria include an individual who plays one, preferably two or more sports, has good academic standing and a good discipline record. This individual is selected by the, the coaches. And I'll just add this, the, the award description, all right, is really fits with what my my dad, J.T. Flaherty, believed in. He believed in academics, he believed in athletics, he believed, most of all, okay, in discipline. All right, and this award reflects that. This year's J.T. Flaherty Scholar Athlete is an excellent student who posted the YA a top 10 evidence in both long and triple jump, and was a key member of the girls' state basketball team and three-time district champions McKenna Mullins.
presenters is a special group of individuals. We have for the Gretchen Wolf Schwartz Sportsman Award, Connie Wolf, who's the president of the Gretchen Wolf Schwartz Scholarship Fund, Tom Ryan, the treasurer of York County EIAA District 3 Basketball Offices, and Michael Heisler, the president of York County District 3 Officials, and also a board member of the Gretchen Wolf Scholarship Fund. actually interviewed to 
Gus Powers two Fridays ago when these students came to your Pennsylvania to see GA Law Firm and we interviewed each one. We had a good time. I hope they did too. I see one smile at least. And we've been fortunate that this fund has grown over the years because of the quests from uh, the, my sister, my brother, my brother-in-law, and other officials, friends who got this started. The funds are at the York County Community Foundation, and we're pleased to say they have grown. So, Mr. Ryan, you have, I believe, the first. You have the envelopes, as they say, the envelopes, please. So, as I announce the names, if you would come up to the stage and remain on the stage until the end for a photo, please. So there's uh, somebody here that is going to study design and marketing. Design and marketing. Because that's this young woman's interest who will take up her studies at Penn State. Abigail Gidget, <laughs> would you please come to the stage?
uh, she will also play college basketball while studying nursing and occupational therapy at E-Town College. McKenna Mummer. I am Tony Kiak, the Lone Class of 1961. On behalf of the Kiak Family Trust, it is my honor to announce the 2022 winner of the Rita M. Kiak Memorial Scholarship Award. This award was established in loving memory of three phenomenal women who shared the name Rita M. Kiak. These three women were my mother, my sister, and my wife. All three lived principled Catholic lives, were consummate role models for others, and made extraordinary contributions during their respective lives. Sadly, each was taken from us far too soon, but their legacy is the inspiration behind this memorial award. The Kiak Family Trust's objective is to identify and reward a DeLone Catholic High School senior year woman who has consistently demonstrated high academic achievement and leadership combined with devotion to Catholic ideals and community service, and who will continue striving for excellence and meaning throughout her life. A woman who aspires to be like Rita M. Kiag. With the considerable assistance of the DeLone staff, several worthy candidates for our award from the class of 2022 were identified. Our winner stood out as the absolute best of all the nominees. The distinguished accomplishments and noteworthy successes she achieved during her years at DeLone reflect her continuous hard work, her leadership abilities, and her exemplary upbringing. We are highly confident she will continue to achieve similar successes in all her future endeavors. 
On behalf of the Kiak Family Trust, it is my distinct pleasure to announce the winner of the 2022 Rita M. Kiak Memorial Scholarship Award, Ms. Leanna Baker. I'm sure the Kiak family will set something for you. Uh, the next video award is the Mary Thea Character in Action Award. It's awarded to a student who exhibits a sense of fair play, responsibility, appreciation for theater, and most importantly, respects one another on and off the stage. Buddy, I'm Ken Berry. Welcome to my home. And this is my good friend, is, I'm Maureen Thea, and I uh, have worked with Ken for many years. I was the principal of Delon Catholic High School for 25 years. And Ken, what did you do at the Lone Catholic High School? Not a whole lot. No, actually, um, I ran the drama productions for, I believe, nine years. And one of the best things I did in my life. And I really enjoyed it. And, and, well, I enjoyed it. And I uh, am happy to present this award with Dr. Thea. Um, I don't quite remember how this came about. Do you remember how it came about? It had something to do with when I retired. You would like to uh, have my name on something. And so when talking with Kay Lenhart, your wife, I said, it's not just me who was in, who did everything for the drama productions. It was Ken. So why don't we name it the Barry Fiat Award? And then you came up with a wonderful title for this award, and that is... It's called the Character in Action Award. And I, after thinking about it, I thought it's not just about being on the stage and, and, and putting on performance. It's about um, being a team player, working backstage if, if one doesn't get a part, um, keeping the, the spirit of, of, of things up in the air and so that there isn't too much uh, backstage drama and so forth. Um, being a contributor, a leader, and, and so forth. Not just on the stage, but out in the community, at the school, and so forth. So, who, um, or who, who's, I haven't seen anything. I've been COVID in, so. Uh, no, I was lucky enough before COVID to, to see all of the productions at Delon Catholic. And since COVID, I was again, going back to see productions and I was very impressed by this one person who just emulated the character in which he played. Jaws was he, he absorbed it. And so this year, this year, we are going to give the award to you ready, Mr. Barry? I am because I don't know most of these students anymore. Okay, our award winner for the character in action is Daniel Rowe. Congratulations, oh, Dan. That's great. I do remember him. I cost him for a show after I left. Yeah, yeah. she did. Toga and all. Yeah, Toga and all. Satin weed toga, I remember. So thank you and congratulations. Good luck, Daniel. Congratulations. To Daniel. Hi, my name is Kristen Bloomquist Schrader. I'm the wife of Bill Schrader, a 1965 graduate of DeLone High School and son of William J. Sonny Schrader, for whom this award is in honor of. The award stands for performance and leadership qualities that Bill's dad taught Bill and his three brothers, all of whom were DeLone graduates. Our family couldn't attend this year's award ceremony today in person, but we will be there next year to announce and celebrate its 50th anniversary. 
We'll be sharing some exciting changes to the award at this time next year as well. This award has always been given to a senior male athlete who's been a letter winner in two or more seasons. This person must also have distinguished himself as a representative of DeLone Catholic High School and the community, embodying qualities such as leadership, sportsmanship, judgment, initiative, and this person must be seen as someone who always strives for excellence. With all of these qualities in mind, we're thrilled to present the award this year to Dylan Staub, who just happens to be a grandson of one of Bill's classmates. <laughs> that this award honors and that we're so near and dear to Bill's dad's heart. We wish you all the best in your college career. And again, wanna say congratulations to you and your family and thank you again. Our next award is the Jack and Rose Lawrence Memorial Scholarship. Jackie was a 1994 graduate of Dillon Catholic High School. She graduated from her college with a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. She was a critical care nurse at Memorial Hospital and Hanford Hospital. She had a love and passion of life, nursing, and her family. In September 2003, Jackie was diagnosed with leukemia. Throughout Jackie's battle with cancer, she continued to share her love and passion for life, nursing, and family. In September 2004, Jackie lost her battle with cancer. She was 28 years old. In the months following her death, her family and friends and co-workers came up with the idea to start a nursing scholarship in honor of her memory. The scholarship was presented annually to a graduating senior from DeLong Catholic who will be attending a college to pursue a nursing degree. The 2022 Jack and Rose Lawrence Memorial Scholarship is presented to Maya Bunch. Toller was a 49 graduate. He spent his part of his youth living in the Paradise Protectory in Abbottstown. After high school, he enlisted in the U.S. Marines, served for three years. Following his return to civilian life, he was the military. Mr. Toller then joined the Air Force and service, serviced his country in the meteorology field for 20 years. He's a veteran of both Korean and Vietnam conflicts. The Lewis B. Toller Memorial Scholarship was established in, in September 28, 2010. It's given each year to graduating senior who plans to pursue a post-secondary degree in a science or related field. The 2022 Lewis B. Toller Memorial Scholarship is presented to Teresa Marks. Each year to his team who excels in the fine arts with a special emphasis in drama. 
The 2022 Noreen Elizabeth M. Lovett Fine Arts Memorial Scholarship is presented to Jocelyn Meyer. Adam Electric awards up to 22 collegiate scholarships in the amount of $1,000 each to high school seniors who are sons and daughters of co-op members, one for public served in co-op territories, plus five additional. The cooperative works in partnership with Adams County Community Foundation to administer these scholarships. The 2022 Adams County Broadway Scholarships, we have two winners, Maggie Hughes and Annabelle Biggins. Graduating male senior that defends the flag 
by his conduct as a good citizen, reflecting honor of nation, state, and home community. This is year four, which is why we're awarding it this year. The funds are to be used to cover the entrance fee, tuition, room, and board, or require scholastic fees and textbooks for the recipient's post-secondary education. The 2022 Lawrence B. Shepard Jr. Memorial Scholarship is presented to Walter Griff Kutlinski.
The Alex Bell Memorial Scholarship was established at Delon Catholic in 1987 in memory of Alex Bell, who coached football at Delon Catholic between 1947 and 49, and also in 55 to 57. Mr. Bell also coached at Harvard and Villanova Universities. The scholarship was initiated by his son, Tom Bell. It's awarded each year to a college-bound scholar athlete or athletes who have made a significant, significant contribution to Delon Catholic. The 2022 Alex Bell Memorial Scholarship is presented to Asher Rudolph. Thank you. 
board the criteria. The criteria is uh, they must participate in school and or community service at least 200 hours, show a positive attitude toward classmates, school, and community, possess strength of character and the courage to do what is right, promote citizenship in school community through other activities, and the distribution for your service hours must be evenly distributed across the categories. We have a little bit of a list, so I appreciate your patience. Isabella Erb, Nathaniel Erb, Anastasia Galish, Walter Griffith-Kaglinski, you can come yeah, forward. Yeah. Lucy Madison, you can come forward. Evelina Kahn, Brianna Novak, Artem Ricard, Jack Skovich, and Olivia Snyder.
2022 Ray Tai St. Fernand and Family Foundation Scholarship is presented to Justin Amy. So please stand. Thank you. The Builders Association of Adams County Scholarship. The Builders Association of Adams County supports future builders and wants to help Adams County High School graduates who have been accepted into state certified post high, high school ed programs. Applicants must be a graduate of Union Springs, Bigler Village, Alone Catholic, Fairfield, Gettysburg, Lewistown, Bernard Oscar High School, choosing to study carpentry, masonry, masonry drafting, plumbing, electrical, or heating, um, or air conditioning. The 2022 Builders Association of Adams County Scholarship was presented to Jacob Trudeau. Please stand, Jake. <laughs> Reaching all women, this scholarship is open to young women in high schools who expect to enroll in an accredited institution of higher education with major related fields in health, medical, or wellness. This includes a two or four year program as well as a trade or technical school. Applicants must demonstrate involvement in community service and have at least a 2.5 GPA. The 2022 Reaching All Women Scholarship is presented to Leanna Baker. Please stand. <laughs> the next round of scholarships we're going to ask you to come forward, and these are really the loan um, awards that we're going to be giving. These are the four year excellence awards, and they're given to recognition of four years of excellence as well as a variety of courses taken in a particular area of study. The music, uh, 2022 Music Education Award is presented to John Frizzell Davis.
give it to Leanna Baker. Board is voted on by members of the senior class and is 
and is sponsored by the uh, Indira graduating class. It's intended for the graduating senior to manifest the quality of great respect for the school, with unquestionable class loyalty, and active, active participation in school affairs. The 2022 Father Alwai Memorial Scholarship is presented to Anastasia Gallish.
our final award, the Catholic Faith Award. As I start to read the description which is provided by Mrs. Hennessy, this individual can come forward. So long Catholic has been blessed by Gabrielle Roberts' presence and dedication. Her sincerity of faith and care for her peers is an inspiration for our community. Gabby has been involved in the spiritual life of Dolan Catholic in a variety of ways, including the Respect Life Club, Prayer Ministry, Extraordinary Ministry of Holy Communion, and on the Kairos 14. She serves our community on Dolan Catholic Student Council and also in the Internet Club, and is an active member of her parish, volunteering with vacation Bible schools as well as bazaars. Of Gabby, this is Ministry Shared. Gabby is an excellent example of a Catholic young woman. She's thoughtful about her relationship with God and Eucharist and seeks to practically incorporate spirituality into her everyday life. She is strong in her morals and understands her God-given dignity, particularly as a woman. For these reasons, she was honored to recommend Gabby for the Catholic Faith Award. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, we're going to dismiss the underclassmen.